All right, day four of the Ma Cultural Festival in Sekinani, Get Masai Mara National Reserve. The county of Narok, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, is this afternoon expected to officiate the event, one that is bringing the Ma community from all over the country and also the neighboring Tanzania. Hashtag Twende Narok, hashtag Ma Cultural Festival, hashtag Kira Ma. KBC is the official media partner, and we have able team on the ground. My colleague Jackie Wambiro is on standby. Jackie, day four of the Mar Cultural Festival. How are you? A very good afternoon to you, Irene Machuma, there at the Broadcasting House. We are joining you live from the Mara National uh, Reserve, uh, where the Mara Cultural Week enters. Uh, today is uh, day four, and the Mara Sports Day will culminate this event this afternoon. And remember, we are expecting uh, Deputy President Rigadi Gishagwa to grace uh, this event. Uh, and some of the guests have been able to arrive at the venue of uh, tourism uh, cabinet secretary Penina Malonza as well as uh, Narok governor uh, Patrick Olentutu as well as Kajeda governor uh, Joseph Olelenku. Well we have other guests uh, who are uh, who have arrived at the venue and however we haven't gotten to understand how this event came into fruition and this afternoon we'll be speaking to the task force committee that brought this colorful event to life. Now, I'm joined by the chair. Uh, welcome, sir. Uh, kindly introduce yourself. Uh, thank you very much. My name is uh, Kimare Noleriamit, based here in Narok. And I was privileged to be one of the co-chairs facilitating the design and delivery of this historic uh, event, the Bar Cultural Festival. Kindly uh, tell us how long it took you to plan this event and has it, uh, have you achieved your objective? Our leaders were inspired that uh, since a colonial encounter, the nation, the Ma nation was scattered. Marsabit, Baringo, Laikipia, all the way to Tanzania, Kajiado, Narok. And they felt that we need to come together to celebrate this unique, resilient culture that has resisted pressures of modernity, globalization, to be really the most visible culture, material culture in this country. And so our task was to pull together an event that brings 16 territorial sections of the Ma Nation to come and celebrate together here at Mara Sekinani. And I can tell you it has been exhilarating, it has been an exciting moment, nostalgic. The last time we were together was before we ascended the Kerio Valley, long before even the explorers came. And so, but the culture is amazing, uh, the similarities, the nuances are amazing, and it's been very refreshing even seeing the leadership of this country, Kenyans, uh, you know, uh, flowing in, the president acknowledging how this culture has been deeply connected to conservation, the conservation landscape of Maasai Mara, the Amboseli returning back to the Kajiado County. It has been for us a very humbling experience organizing and seeing this come into fruition. Uh, very well. Now we'll speak to the co-chair and uh, we've seen that in this event we've been able to uh, economically empower uh, women, uh, men, but let's talk about the women. Uh, what role have they played in this event? At the same time, um, uh, just tell us about that. Okay, my name is Naomi Kipuri and I'm also privileged to be uh, a co-chair in this important um, event. Um, it's, it's a special event and I think it's for everybody, all genders and all categories of people. Uh, women specifically are fundamental to, to, to the culture uh, in the sense that it's women who transmit culture to their children. The very fundamental part of culture is language and it is women who teach the children their language which carries the rest of the culture. So um, they have played a significant role here. Um, uh, 
children haven't been much, uh, have not played a critical role here yet, because it's been very difficult to carry children, to monitor their movements. But as it is, uh, women have played a critical role. And for this particular occasion, um, they've also been allowed to sell their items, their artifacts, their beadwork, which is very elaborate. Uh, so they have brought their items and they're selling them. Uh, and everybody has enjoyed interacting with all of them. What is your message to the um, Ma community as well as other communities, especially looking at this event? Uh, the Ma community find this an exciting uh, process. Um, first of all, it is women who started the process in the 2001, 2002. Uh, they held a cultural festival and actually managed to bring 800 people to Bomas of Kenya in 2002. Uh, and it is the idea of bringing our communities together uh, in unity so that they can share this special language and culture uh, and to celebrate it and to share the rest of, with the rest of Kenyans who by, by because of colonial experiences have not been able to maintain their own. So we are celebrating with all Kenyans and asking all Kenyans to celebrate with us our special nuances of our culture. Very well. Kenyans being urged to celebrate the cultures. Well, we shall be bringing you live every occurrence at these Ma cultural event as it culminates. Remember, we're waiting for Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa to make his way to the venue. And remember, uh, the Tourism Cabinet Secretary, Penina Malonza, has just made her way to the venue. We'll be bringing you live uh, the developments from the venue. From Masai Mara National Reserve, my name is Jackie Wambiru, back to you. Thank you, Jackie.